what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more i know it's been a while since i've uploaded this anime to be honest i mean it's not the greatest one on the channel you know getting averaging around 50 views for this one but i'm gonna try to finish it um it's it's very short actually it's a very short short one because i don't think there's any more season i think it's like 12 episodes or something like that i don't I don't remember exactly, but it's very short. So I'm just going to try to knock it out. Not today. I'm going to try to do two episodes today um, until we are finished. But it's when we upload, we upload, man, at this point. Because I'm so busy um, doing other things, trying to prepare for other things, trying to bring everything that I do, including something that I'm planning to launch for the channel. Um, I'm trying to bring everything under the umbrella of one of my businesses. So I've been going through... Um, talking to my lawyers and all of that other stuff so it's been a busy time for me like the last couple of weeks has been really busy of me just trying to prepare to do this okay so I'm trying to make sure that um, that I don't have things out of place because when it comes on to America when it comes on to business you got to make sure those things are in place because if you know you can make mistakes end up you know, um, missing and you don't want to mess up with taxes in this country. Okay. So let's jump into this, man. Um, let's see what episode four is all about. Um, you should know if you don't, if you don't remember what's been going on in this anime, we all know he, he went and he rescued the girl, um, because of the horse, <laughs> right? So let's go see what this orange Afro here, dude, is up to get back used to the names because it's been a couple of weeks so and an anime just i only watched like three episodes so i don't really remember the names but i know what's going on okay i do remember what's going on they're trying to get to um to helheim so let's see um if she's gonna finally figure out that he's actually lying because he does not know what he's doing but for some reason he went back to go catch them i want to know what is the beef here what is the beef is she the good guy or is she the really the bad guy or the angels really bad or the demons really bad what is the situation going on right now right now i'm a little confused as to the story aspect of where they're going with this story but let's go watch and see what this is all about and we'll see you back here for the review All right, so these three episodes were real interesting. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, um, even though I want you guys to start watching my reviews because my reactions are not on YouTube. I need to keep my watch retention up. It has fallen off a lot. Um, but I know it's not a lot of you guys that watch this um, anime on the channel. So I'm going to try to keep it simple, man. Um, listen. This anime, the, the story is just now kind of becoming interesting because at first it was like, I felt like I was watching um, a Western of sorts develop because it got that kind of feel to it. So I kind of felt like I was watching just these two characters going, to, going at it together and then the girl was introduced, Amara. Um, so... Um... This guy is so, I don't like his character, I'm going to be honest, the knight. I don't like his character, and I'm going to tell you guys why I don't like his character. He's one of those characters that he's so naive, and it seems like he doesn't have a mind of his own. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's written to the point where you're like, you don't really feel sorry for him. You just feel like it's a character that you could do without. You know what I'm saying? Like him going, they were childhood best friends. And all he's doing is just chasing the dude to kill him. And he never gets the chance. I don't think if, if the chance actually come, I don't think he would kill him. I really don't think he would. He doesn't know the truth. I think, I don't think, I don't think he even knows that Favreau lost his dad because of that theft. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he doesn't even know. I don't think he knew that. Did Favreau actually trick him? Or were they really friends? You know what I'm saying? Like, was it... was Did he really plant himself 
to um to know about you know the his dad and his riches and then go back and tell favaro went back and told his dad and then they decide to rob the dude who knows the big the big big the story behind it we don't really know yet i think there's going to be a reveal at some point as to what really took place back then but that is yet to be seen but the biggest story in this is going is like the character the character development is great so far other than this dude so everything that we've learned so far now learning in episode four i think that amara um that the god key is not an actual physical thing it's actually a soul so is it the soul of what because they need two souls a god soul and a demon soul then because it, it that a god key right and a demon key coming together to actually seal bahamut plus the seal is getting weaker is that a result of the god key being stolen we don't know so uh, we don't know yet but interesting characters man azazel um they talked about lucifer um and all of that stuff so i think so far i think episode i want to say episode four is the best episode so far that i've watched episode five was was good but the reason why i like episode four so much because the the dialogue in it they were on the ship and stuff like that they're on the ship and you know there's a lot of stuff that was being revealed about different characters and also amura being amura as in taking out that big ass crab and was it the crab she she killed but she didn't even really kill the crab because the crab came back and ate the dude right so or was it after no it wasn't after it wasn't after so um there's a lot revealed um we learned about favaro's background you know his dad and stuff like that so it's pretty cool man pretty cool i'm all about good storytelling and so far i think you know the story in this is not the greatest story ever but as i said man i'm watching this purely for entertainment value um not necessarily to get a great story because i know it's not gonna be no over the top deep shit it's 12 episodes right so i'm not looking forward for it to be anything deep i just want to see some dope fight scenes which i'm looking which i've seen a couple already which i like so i want to see like Amara versus Azazel. Like I want to see that fight. Because I know that fight is going to be dope if they do it right. The animation so far as I said. I don't really like the, the way out there doing the fights. With the switching of the cameras. And there's no fluidness with the, with the animation when it comes on to the fights. Everything else is really good. But the fights are like the switching of the cameras. Like I hate when anything does that. Whether it be movie, TV shows, whatever. I like to see fluid action like i want to see punch great hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff like that like you don't see a lot of projectiles unless it's like with the army like what you saw in episode five so there's a lot that they could work on you know what i mean so i'm looking forward to that to see if we're gonna get some great fights before the end of this anime okay so thank you guys for watching as always man it's been great thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for coming over and check out the review i'm gonna start doing giveaways at the end of my videos so if you don't watch my reviews you're not gonna know how to enter them that's what i'm gonna start doing <laughs> okay but anyways man thank you guys for watching as always you're terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys for the next reaction of rage of bahamut okay thank you guys so much for watching peace